أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولو الأمر منكم أنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان miskeen is all in jahan and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah for the holy month of Zulhaj and preparation for the month of Muharram, the month of the sacrifice, the month of Ashanura, Ashura and the month of opening that a tremendous opening for the nation and all nations, their salvation on the 10th of Muharram and that Allah prepare from the lights of Zul Hajj and the immense barakah and blessings of Zul Hajj that they step into a new year Muharram which represents the, the calendar and the first year of the Islamic calendar. And that begins the journey and this eternal journey that we have upon the earth. And that Allah dress it with lights and oceans of blessings, a month of immense forgiveness in which all nations were forgiven and a salvation granted on Ashura. And Prophet granted Medina to Munawwara, the city of lights, and that the Muhammadan reality and the realities of Ashura that Imam Hussain is salam and Karbala and the intercession for the nation. It's a month of immense sacrifice and lights that Allah dress upon the nation. We pray that Allah to dress us, bless us and prepare us for the month of Muharram and that a new pilgrimage and that we start that month with showering and preparing the etiquette and the adab of the month is on the app and that to prepare ourselves for another 12 months of journeying into that ocean of reality and the immensity of that reality and the ocean of entering in this path of ashiqeen, the shams al-arifeen and the way of, of Gnosticism and to the light of the Muhammadan heart and the Muhammadan reality based on self-sacrifice, based on Surat al-Tawbah, based on that, Ya Rabbi want to enter and my bad character to be put down and that badness and bad character to be put down, Bismillah Allahu Akbar. The month in which the Surah Tawbah has no Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. It's an immense gate to enter in the oceans of Allah's forgiveness and that our bad character to be put down and that we live a life of sacrifice. And that sacrifice is the sacrificing of characteristics and desires and, and bad characteristics for the sake of Allah and His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad Alhamdulillah that Allah begin to guide and people coming in droves to the reality of Islam. And funny that somebody sent <laughs> a link that, oh there's an individual, Canadian individual, I believe his name is something Peterson and so he's a, a thinker, a talker. And he put out a video <laughs> message to Islam, <laughs> to Muslims. And it's funny because uh, shaitan make everybody to meet the wrong Muslims and rarely they meet a, a guide and the representatives of Sayyidina Muhammad they meet up with People that are academia or people that they, they think represent Islam and they go away with an interesting comment. So he produced a whole message after all his, his meeting with Muslims. He produced a message and, yeah thank you, I heard you guys all liking that I'm talking to Muslims and that you like me and watch my videos now. But I have a message for you people. 
that why do you hate Christians and Jews and why are you so obsessed with the devil and why don't you fight the devil within? Well, that is a great insult because he met with all the, the crazy people and his understanding of the representation of Islam again is all the crazy people. Had he been guided and Allah guide him to the tariqahs in which they could have schooled him in his understanding that that's not Islam and what these people are practicing is not Islam and that Islam is about the fight and the struggle within, not the struggle outside. There is no issue with Jewish people and Christian people, to them is their religion. There is no fight with them, there is no hatred for them, they have their religion and they are accountable to Allah And many times all the tariqahs are always teaching that because they have many Jewish and Christian murids. And the, the only fight is the internal fight and the only devil to worship, to watch out for that people are worshipping is the devil within. Means the worshipness for Allah the struggle for Allah is not an external devil that we have to go look for in other people but the devil within and he was saying the exact thing as if his whole time sitting with them he didn't find that element of, of true religious understanding and true religious practices and met with people whom maybe are only issued in the dogma and rules and how the rules are different and how we are different. And amazing had Allah guided individuals like that, they would have sat with tariqah shaykhs, would have pointed out everything to, to them that, no, this, the true Islam is never portrayed, the true Islam is never given time, the true Islam is never propagated. And these yelling and angry people has nothing to do with Islam. These fighting and aggressive people has nothing to do with Islam. This is the fitna of Dajjal and we've talked before that the Antichrist is, is not an only relationship to Christ but it's the anti of every religion. In the last days every religion has a face that's not correct as its majority because the minority are hidden, the majority is an incorrect face of its religion. It's an incorrect understanding and that's the concept of dajjal and the concept of deceit, that we live in deceitful times and the representation of Islam is filled with deceit and the, the liars begin to represent the nation and they lie about its understanding and its reality. And the liars of Christianity and Judaism represent the lie, they barely get together to talk about the truth and that becomes the spirituality which is the silent majority. That those whom following the tariqahs and spiritual paths they understand the fight and the struggle inside, the way of divine is the way of love and that love equals faith and all of these struggles that the tariqahs come to teach and there are also from Christian faiths that believe the same, that their struggle is inside, their struggle is to, to purify and to cleanse themselves and of the Jewish faith. But because of the time we're in, the outward face, an outward face of faith is based on politics and aggression and the reality of separation, that this dunya the material world and the evilness has no interest in singularity. Its only interest is to divide and conquer people. The more people can be divided, the more they're weakened and then they're conquered. And as a result of being conquered they'll be manipulated. And as they're manipulated they'll be forced into their homes, they're forced into isolation and then broken down. And that becomes the reality of where they're heading and pushing towards people. But to have an ocean of singularity in which spirituality to rule 
and people to come to their commonality and to understand that the ocean of light in the heavens is one. And the souls enter an ocean of oneness and there is no difference in that ocean. And that ocean its purity is based on the level of submission. The frequency and the light of the soul which it achieved is going to determine how high that soul's light goes. Everything gets dumped into an ocean. Depending upon the purity of that light, either that light goes higher or it goes lower into that ocean based on its resonance and based on its frequency. And that becomes the oceans of reality. <coughs> this dunya doesn't want realities. This dunya doesn't want to bring people together. This material world its reality and its purpose is to divide people. So inshaAllah guide those whom people call thinkers and speakers and that they come towards the real Islam in which they should have investigated with the tariqah shaykhs and those whom propagate the real Islam and who represent the majority of what people believe of a softness, a compassion, a love and a mercy. Because when people get together and they tell, why is Islam like this? Why, why are people so hard? Why are all these rules so hard? And Islam is not like that. Islam is an immense ocean of mercy. Even common people are so influenced by the aggressive majority because shaitan gives them the mic. Right? You look at their YouTube views, 200,000, 300,000, 500,000, 2.3 million views. On who and what? For what? I don't want to be rude, so I won't be, <laughs> but what they speak is of no value whatsoever. But why shaitan gives the mic? Because there's no benefit and it just makes confusion. And the majority of people watch this and say, Oh, well, why is everything so aggressive and everything is everything going to be punished and everything is going to be wrong? And then the tariqah has come and said, no, and we were speaking today with loved ones again and saying that, no, they're correct in what Allah don't despair from my mercy. No matter if you sin a thousand times, Allah says, you have to come to my mercy. Ask for forgiveness and you repent and your nation never tires on sinning and I never tired of forgiving. And the only sin that's not forgivable is for a servant to think Allah won't forgive them. You understood that? It's a sin, guna, to think Allah won't forgive you. That's how much His mercy is encompassing. That even you broke your vow a thousand times is, is the logo or the, the, the terminology of tariqahs, come, come, come again. Even you broke your vow a thousand times, come again. Because it encapsulates the rahmah and the mercy, the reality of Islam was all rahmah, all hope. That don't worry, you, you did crimes, you did wrong, you did bad, you broke your vows, you, 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 whatever it is, it's a sin to think Allah won't forgive you. That's how much the mercy is all encompassing. And the greatest fight, the greatest jihad is against oneself. Means that's the reality of Islam that's so hidden now that we're considered the ajib people. Because in the time of Sayyidina Mahdi Prophet taught, that when I came to this earth how the world was in ignorance and I brought the light of Islam. My grandson when he comes and dispels the oppression from earth will be the same, that the earth will be filled with oppression. This is oppressing. This type of knowledge that people have, the aggression and aggressiveness that people have is an oppression and it's, it's oppressing people. To think that Allah has no mercy for them, Allah is not going to forgive them, that everything is about rules, everything is about is disbelief. 
you you step forward you're 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 in a shirk you everything is haram all that wahhabi ideology that's an oppression and that my grandchild will come and the religion he brings is ajeeb to the people means the tariqahs when you talk to the real islam which are the turuqs and the sufi paths that is the real Islam, the ones who adhere to sharia and the Islamic law. And the Islamic law is based on compassion and mercy and that Allah's mercy is infinite and that there is no compulsion in religion. That people have to come at the pace of their submission. That someone even did something incorrect in a masjid in the presence of Prophet and immediately he stopped the companions from harming that individual and said, cover it and wash it away. Means the infinite amount of examples of the rahmah, the mercy, the compassion of Sayyidina Muhammad is unknown. Means that they talk and think that Christianity was filled with compassion, actually no. The Sayyidina Isa was very hard on people. And he was intolerant and as a result had 12 companions and one of them sold Sayyidina Isa salam. The immensity of compassion was actually the reverse was with Sayyidina Muhammad min That he's the embodiment of Allah's rahmah and mercy and that the mercy and compassion and the khuluq and the character was to such an extent that 124,000 companions of sainthood reaching their entire realities, entire perfection, entire lights and the immensity of that attraction that over how many billions of people upon earth today following the way and the example of Sayyidina Muhammad so alhamdulillah inshaAllah we pray one day Allah when all these ignorances are, are spreading that Allah give the true example of Islam to these people. It can only open by Izzatullah by permission of Allah to take the veil off of what shaitan is putting upon people and the inability of people to find these guides and these true exemplars of faith and talk to them about Islam and talk to them about the realities of Islam. So that you can see the droves and the masses of people coming towards the deen of Allah Only when they see its real identity, its real reality, the immensity of its rahmah, its mercy and the immensity of Divine Grace dressing the nation of Islam. Only at that time then we should be seeing إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَاتِ That when you see mankind come in droves to Islam, right? Because now shaitan is playing with everybody, blocking all the real guides and saying, no talk to this one, this angry guy, talk to this other confused guy, talk to this other angry guy. So anyone who they talk to comes away thinking then wants to give advice. He gave advice as if telling the nation you should find Sufism. He doesn't know what Sufism is. You should find a path that not aggressive, not fighting and you should find the devil within yourself and conquer that. As if exactly like he should have been meeting with the Sufism and the tariqah teachings. We pray that Allah open an opening and that this veil that shaitan has put upon the reality that that veil to be knocked down and that people can find the, the true way, the, the way of the Muhammadan haqqaiq, the way of immense love and immense ishq. InshaAllah provide an opening that in the month of Muharram as things are opening and many things happening in, in July before we enter into Muharram. We pray that Allah whatever these dajjal have planned and what they've opened and what they're trying to continue to open and what they plan on destroying 
that it counters with Allah opening from Divine realities and Divine grace and Divine blessings. As much as negativity has a permission to open, Allah will balance it with the immense amount of openings of light. So anytime for example if a hundred pounds of negativity is going to be opened upon this earth then we must believe with all our heart a hundred pounds of immense Divine light will open into the hearts of whom Allah wants to open His Divine grace and, and majesty. And these are the times in which the few will represent many, means the few of whom Allah has established upon this creation with this ishq, with this light and with this love that those lights to shine and to open. And when they open, they open and give the clear example of Allah's religion and Allah's way and the way of the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad which is uh, mercy. I would not have sent him except that he is وسلم, the mercy of Allah a mercy that they cannot encompass and they cannot understand. Not only the mercy of what was spoken and, and talked about but the mercy of that light and its reality of how it intercedes for everything and that everything will be in touch with that light, everything is from that light, everything will be cleaned by that light. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzatam wa yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Surat al-Fatiha.